In this video, we will cover assembly of the feet and the handle. Okay, as I said before, the unit can be set up as a portable product on wheels or a uh, stationary unit. I'm going to look at the stationary unit first. Um, when setting it up to the stationary unit, we need to put four rubber pads or buffers uh, on the feet or on the base of the unit. We've already put three on um, and we now need to add the, the, the fourth uh, bumper. So here it is here and it's held on with a bolt and a nut and across these crossbars you'll see four holes. Well, I've already put the first three in and on this one here we have the hole right at the front and it's only a matter of placing the the bolt through the rubber bu buffer like so um, and then what we'll also do is we'll put hold of the small tube spanner that is supplied place the tube spanner onto the head of the the bolt through the rubber and place it up through the hole like so now we just pop on the on the washer the spring washer and yes it's a little bit fiddly and finally the nut and if we hold the nut there with our fingers and just turn the the head of the bolt that will secure the rubber buffer in place now supplied with our generator is a multi spanner this is the hex we're going to use for this nut it's like so we locate the tube spanner again onto the bolt with a screwdriver pass it through the hole and we can tighten that firm until it is firm like so now the generator will sit on four rubber pads like so so the generator can now sit down on the pads and it's ready for fueling and adding oil and can be operated in that position if you want to now um, have a portable unit you can leave the four buffers in place they can stay exactly where they are and we then take the fifth rubber buffer which is secured with one screw we do the same thing we put it through the rubber buffer using the tube spanner same as before locate onto the head of the bolt just roll the the unit up and underneath is a round boss which is located on this cross member and in the middle is a threaded hole so it's only just a matter of locating it and tightening that up turning like so again we use a screwdriver and we tighten it up firm like so. Now, to complete the, the base of the unit, when it's portable, we need to add two wheels, like so. So we have to remove the caps off the wheels, like so. And we're supplied with two bolts to act as axles like so so we have the axle the nut and two washers we pass the bolt through the wheel like so and then we place the rest of the axle through the corner bracket now on the inside we place the large washer like so the spring washer and the cap nut like 
like so. We then take the spark plug tube spanner and we place that over the head of the bolt. We use our bar through the hole, like so. And then using the multi-spanner, we find the, the correct X, like so, and then we just tighten it up, making sure it's firm. Then we locate and tap the, the wheel cover back on. And then we repeat the same then for the opposite side. So, axle, through the wheel, lift the side of the unit up slightly and slide it in place. We place the washer on, spring washer, captive nut. Pop the spanner on, like so, and using our tube spanner, we just tighten that up, like so. And clip the wheel cover in place. The last operation is the handle. So the handle is secured with two with two screws and nuts. In the frame there is a set of holes front and back and that just fits over. We pop the, the screw through the hole. Same at the other end, like so. Place the nut on. The nut was, is a no-lock nut. It will only go on one way. That's the side it starts the thread with, and that's the no-lock part. So we always start with the, the entry point. So the nylon is on the outside. Okay. You can use either the, the flat or the star type screwdriver. I'm using the flat, like so. And again with our multi-spanner, we support the nut and tighten up the, the screw. So, and tighten it up. The handle now is free to rotate up or down. And 